So in section 4.2, um, we were talking about when we were given lines are parallel and then we were solving for certain angle measurements or talking about the relationships. So this is an example from section two. Uh, this is actually our same side interior angles theorem. All right, and that states if two lines are parallel, then the same side interior angles are supplementary. So in this case, we're given that the lines are parallel, all right? That's our given information. We're saying if the two lines are parallel. So first thing we need to be given is, is that they're parallel. That was section uh, three, 3.2, all right? Now in this section, if I ask you to write the converse of that statement, remember our converse, it goes if P then Q. So if our hypothesis and our conclusion, our converse is we flip them, we switch our place. So it becomes if Q then P. So we change their place. So the converse of this given statement here would be if um, the same side interior angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel. All right, so in, these, in this section, we are no longer going to be given that the lines are parallel. We are going to be proving that they're parallel. All right, so in this section, we're going to be looking for, for the relationships. Are corresponding angles equal? Are alternate exterior angles equal? Are, um, are alternate interior angles equal? And are same side interior angles supplementary? If they are, then we can make the conclusion, well, that means that the lines are parallel. All right, and then our name for this, it's very simple. Think about what we did from this first one. This first one, we were given our same side interior angles theorem, and all we did to create this statement was take the converse. So then our name for this is the converse of the same side interior angles theorem. All right, there are a few more things that we're gonna talk about in this video. All right, so the beginning of this video, I just want to talk about why we call each of these the converse. So why all of these are referred to as the converse. Because in section 4.2, the original theorems, we're writing if the lines are parallel, and now we're switching the place. Now we're proving that the lines are parallel. And we did that by taking the converse of that original statement. All right. So in this case, we're not going to be given that lines are parallel. So they won't tell us that L and M are parallel. But what they'll give us is enough information to say, well, angle 2 and angle 6 are congruent. They show us that by the arc marks. So we know that they are congruent. And then these two angles are corresponding angles. So if uh, corresponding angles are congruent, then the lines are parallel. So we can say that these two lines, L and M, are parallel. All right? And then we use this for all the other theorems that we learned as well. So if alternate interior angles are congruent, in this case 4 and 6, we can then say that the lines are parallel. Right? And then if the same side interior angles are supplementary, so if 3 plus 6 is, adds up to 180, then we can guarantee that these lines are parallel. And then if the alternate exterior angles are congruent, same thing, we can guarantee that these lines are parallel. All right? So this is the converse of um, our original theorems that were given to us. And all we did was switch our hypothesis and conclusion, which is why we call them the converse of each theorem. Right? And these ones, what's important is we are proving that the lines are parallel. That's what we're doing here. We're proving that the lines are parallel. It's not originally given to us. That's what we're proving for. All right? And then there's one proof that we're going to do with this, uh, with this section, and then we're done with this. The videos are done for this section. All right, so what we're going to do for this is just a real quick two-step T-chart, um, T-column proof. So we're given that angle one is congruent to angle seven, and we want to show that angle L is parallel to angle M. I'm sorry, line L is parallel to line M. All right, so then we're going to draw our T columns, and we put our statements and our reasons, and then our first statement is always what's given. Angle one is congruent to angle seven, and our reason is given. All right, and then from here, since now that we showed that alternate exterior angles are congruent, we can then say that line L is parallel to line M. And then our statement then is always whenever our last statement is exactly what they asked us to prove. So line L is parallel to line M. And then our reasoning for this 
is when alternate exterior angles are congruent, we can say the lines are parallel from the converse of the alternate exterior angles theorem. All right, and that's how you can use it in a proof. All right, that's it for this section, um, and then uh, that's it for this section.